Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan here. Time for another episode of First Bite. I found a sandwich shop right around the corner from my house, which is awesome. Always good to find a local joint, small independent business, love supporting small business. So it's fantastic. I already reviewed them, but you never saw the footage. You know why? I deleted the footage. Here's what happened. I went there and I got a Cuban sandwich. That's the name of the place, Kim's Cuban Sandwich Shop, and I'll give you an address in a minute. I went there and I tried their Cuban sandwich. It, it didn't work for me, but I had to do it again because I saw so much potential. There were things about the sandwich that I really liked, and I figured I could come back, customize the sandwich, do it my way, and the score would be a lot better. So I was really trying to be fair about it, the biggest hang up that I had was the pork. And you know me, I'm a big Cuban sandwich guy, but on the same token, the pork is the one ingredient, as I've said before in other reviews, the pork is the one ingredient in a Cuban sandwich that most often falls significantly short for me. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I did not like the pork in this Cuban sandwich. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite Cuban sandwich. Not even second or third or fourth on the list. I just don't like it. Yikes. Did you see that footage from the old review that I didn't delete? So, yeah. I, I kept those clips just to show you. Not a fan of the Cuban sandwich. But what I did do is create my own. I went double ham instead of pork. So there's no pork on this. So essentially it's not really a Cuban sandwich anymore. So I got double ham, no pork, and I added lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise, which are typically not included in a traditional Cuban sandwich, but I got them here on this sandwich. And I also doubled up on the cheese. Swiss cheese is what usually comes on a Cuban. I got Swiss and American. So I have truly made this sandwich my own comment and tell me what should I call it because I'm going to recommend that they put this on the menu at their restaurant if it's good. Should I call it the first bite? Should I call it the Dan? I don't know. Before I even do that, quick address on the screen for you. Kim's Cuban Sandwich Shop is located in Mir Lake Plaza, 11911 East MLK Boulevard in Sefner, Florida, 33584. Okay, now you know where we're going. I've built this up and I talked about the previous video that I didn't post, so I hope I like this. Wow, a really good sandwich. See, this is why I went back. I was trying to be fair about it. I'm not a huge pork person, at least not on a sandwich. I'm not, not typically. Um, and I knew that there was good things about their sandwich, like I said. Really good things. Let's just eliminate the pork. Let's do a sandwich my way with their ingredients. This is, I really like this. Mm. You can taste both cheeses coming through, which I really like. You get the mayo and the mustard. Full disclosure, I added some Burtman's mustard. The pride of the Great Lakes Brewing Company, the pride of Cleveland, Ohio. Because they don't have spicy brown mustard in there. They just had yellow mustard and mayo. So I added a little bit to it. So I'm going to suggest that they put this in their stockpile of condiments and such. So that that can be requested. But back to the sandwich. I got that crunch, nice pressed Cuban bread, the lettuce and the tomato. Mm. And like I said, don't be confused. This is not a Cuban sandwich. This is my own creation. Real quick too, you know I'm doing the root beer thing. This has nothing to do with the sandwich shop. Just as a little extra bonus on the channel. Whenever I find a good craft root beer, not a root beer flavored soda, just a good craft, honest to God, brewed root beer, I'm gonna try it real quick. I found one from Abita. 
down in New Orleans. This is typically just like a, a, a beer beer, like an alcoholic beverage, but I actually found root beer. So let's try it. That's really good. It's got that cane sugar in it. So you get a nice sweetness, but it's not sickeningly sweet. It's not um, processed white sugar, if you will. This is good stuff. Root beer, score. Mm, strong score, 8.7. 8.7 on the root beer. Yeah, I really like that. That's good stuff. You should try that. Anyway, back to the sandwich. You know, if I hadn't come back here and reviewed the Cuban sandwich or reviewed a second sandwich and I just went with my initial score, honestly, I was so put off by the taste of the pork, it would have been down on the twos somewhere. I mean, I just didn't like it. I did not like the Cuban sandwich, period. But there were things about it that I did like. I guess really when you get right down to it, I guess the pork was the main thing that I didn't like about it. It was a glaring fault, in my opinion. So, the previous sandwich, the previous, the Cuban sandwich, since I don't actually have it in front of me, since I'm not actually reviewing it, disregard on the score for the Cuban sandwich. Not even going to give the Cuban a score. Instead, we're going to go with my creation. I'm going to score it off of their best. You see, I'm trying to be nice. Eight point four on the sandwich. You see how high we've come just by eliminating something that I didn't think was very good and doing a little custom job on it. By the way, you would think that the American cheese wouldn't make a difference when there's Swiss already on there, but man, I and it's pressed on there like it's it's really good. This is a good sandwich. It reminds me if you've ever if you've ever been to a Minnesota Twins game at Target Field. I don't know if they still have this on their concession menu, but it reminds me of the La Tortuga sandwich a little bit. Anyway, that's really good. Check this place out, Kim's Cuban Sandwich Shop. I wouldn't order a Cuban, but that's just me. If you want to try the Cuban, if you're a big pork fan, go for it. Otherwise, you might want to try my creation. The only I wish they had banana peppers. And I think I saw some in there the first time I was in there, in their little sandwich condiment thing where they prep it and put it together. I don't think that they had them today. I looked and I didn't see them or I would have asked them to put them on there. Anyway, it might be good with banana peppers. Now I'm just rambling. It doesn't matter. Check this place out. Kim's Cuban Sandwich Shop. Pleasant surprise. Glad I gave them a second chance. We got a really good score here. So anyway, I'm done. That's it. Deuces. Dan is out. That has been another episode of First Bite. Take care.